here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proven ground for his first UFC title fight time. So here's the former UFC interim welterweight champion, Colby Covington, and whether he's banging on the Brazilians or going at fans on Twitter, there's a lot that encompasses this total package of Colby Covington. He's a hell of a fighter. But ultimately, it's about the fight, and the fighting ability is what has carried Colby to such a great start in his UFC career. A former champion, a guy that's been in there with the very best of the division, and when he's been in there, he's been able to get his hand raised. I always go back to the Rafael Dos Santos fight, and I watch Kobe put a pace on him that Dos Santos, who is also in his cardio, could not keep. It was inspiring to watch, and if you know Kobe before fighting, you know that he trains as hard as anybody in the world to try to punish him. Kill the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. And now it is the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, Colby Covington, he's got a lot of different ways to beat you. We have seen early in rounds, he has gone to the takedown at times. Other times, like the Robbie Lawler fight, prefers to just stand and exchange and hit you with the volume striking. We'll see how he proceeds in the early portions of this round. That sort of strike. I might let you kick the inside of my leg after the show. No. See how that feels. You don't want that, J.A. You do not want that. No one wants uh -huh. that. Even trained professional fighters right. can't take too many of those strikes. Fast pace here in the early going. Great job landing that body kick. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Covington. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big right hand. Yeah. 
beautiful jab there by the champ. All right, nice job by the wrestler to engage in the clinch here. Very early in the fight with this kickboxer, he said he didn't want to recklessly chase takedowns from the center of the octagon, so we'll see what he does here in the clinch. All right, setting up for a submission now. Looks like a pretty good attempt here. An attack the robot. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Three minutes to go. Making all these shots count. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Covington. Oh, there's another ground strike for good measure. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Covington going to work from guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he needs to try to chase down that ball. Lands a nice one, too. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. All right, so he lets go of the submission now. He let go because he saw that he was gonna lose his position. You gotta maintain dominant position when you're in a fight. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Holland. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Yes, they have to be mature about the fact that this is a real fighting position, and the guy on top has a lot of opportunities to finish. If he's going to attack this north-south choke, he's got to drive that shoulder deep into his neck, really start to sink his weight away, which will in turn cut the oxygen from his opponent, allowing him to get the fit. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. 45 seconds remain in the round. Scuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just from... Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and get the fight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. This fight, folks, you see he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. All right, so the crowd voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking. But tonight we have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high-level grappling. And they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was in deep. About the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, a huge block there. Yeah. 
Looking to establish the jab here. Nice one. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh he's in real trouble now. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, massive move to the head. Oh, he got hit again. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent's recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Side control now. Covington's able to transition back to side control now. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, you can fall in love with this. You can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. Oh, great ground strike there. And now blood is a factor. Body position, yup. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Get that knee in, shrimp. Escape. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling. Oh, submission attempt here. He's fighting. He wants this badly. Oh, I'm no expert, but that Von flu choke looks locked in. Oh, he bails on the submission now. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Under a minute now in round two. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds in time. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. 15 seconds to go. I need you to breathe. And that spinning kick out its home up top. Oh. Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Oh. Outstanding round. Do you believe it? Another stop, five stop, minutes coming up. Stop. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, well, no surprise to see that eye continue to be targeted. Some replays from the previous round in which a lot of damage was doled out. Well, the cut man's got some work to do to try to give this kid an opportunity 
to stay in the fight because the reality is he has taken far too many shots to the eye and now he's dealing with a nasty cut. He has got to change something. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Holland gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Back to work with the jab. Right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big round of power. Got his guard pass. Oh, good shot landed there from the bottom. Oh, man, another ground strike gets through. It's going to be Motrin in the morning. The swelling starting to appear. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Well, it's a bloody Saturday, folks. He's really starting to leak out of that eye area, Daniel. Well, he's leaking, John. He's wide open. The eyes are beat up. The guy's taking a beating, and the blood has to be affecting his vision at this point. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Covington. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Beautiful transition. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Holland's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. Good work from the top here by Covington. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Another strike gets through from the top position. Big right hook there by the champ. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. Let's work the pass Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Holland. I can see the ringside position starting to get up because that cut has gotten to a very bad place. Not there yet, but might get the submission here shortly. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Covington's in half guard. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. All right, so when is too much too much? I mean, I'm not sure I need to see this fighter absorb any further damage here. Tonight. It's okay if his corner or the ringside position calls a stop to this thing. He has been battered, he has been beaten, and the result is not gonna change. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler 
this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Oh, All right, that's God. three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Don't be stupid. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to mix it up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go the next 10 minutes. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. That eye is absolutely mangled. I wouldn't be surprised to see us get a stoppage here soon. Yeah, I mean, John, you look at his face. He's been beaten up for a very long time. I could see the doctor coming into the ring, looking at the cut and saying, I've seen enough. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Right Many people have gone right away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. That was a slick transition. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. Oh, I'm trying to get very close. He's got to clear that guard, though, if he wants to find a finish. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. We march on three minutes to go. Holland's in half goal. Getting the ball here. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Well, on paper, it looked like a grappling advantage for him coming in in largely DC. That's the way it's played out. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going to him. He's got it all going, J.A. This is a dream for him. The takedown early, the ground control, really starting to wear at the gas tank of his opponent. Covington's right back to the full mount. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. Oh. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs, and if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, he got to the spot. Holland's in half guard now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. 
Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Covington. Nice defense. And busy as he looks to improve position here. While landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Covington. Great job landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Covington ground and pound from half guard. He is making these shots count. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nice hook, nice hook. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. 15 seconds. Covington's back in full mount. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, heading back to the corner, and Holland's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, so the cup man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with a massive cut over his eye, and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Holland's an absolute mess. I wonder if they might call in the ringside position and potentially stop this fight. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Oh, he passes the half guard now, and he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Covington. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. That was a massive high kick. And a miss with the right hand. And he lands that side kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. but live to fight another day. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Under three minutes now to go round five. Holland's got the full mount. Get on that side. Get on the side. Don't let him keep you flat. You gotta move. Don't be flat. Posture up. Man, foul. In the half guard. Inside the praise guard now. I mean, he went right into what? his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tight. He's got to move forward. He's got to just throw everything at his opponent to try and find that punch or that kick that's going to end the fight. There is no time for strategy. Anymore. 
Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, he's really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there on his opponent. you got to address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not going to let you, let you off the hook. You've got to move. You've got to change something to try to deter him from going to that spot. Covington going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. He's going to get in. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flu. He's got the side mount. How in the world did he escape that submission? Oh, good ground and pound here. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Covington's really pressing the issue now, and he's got his opponent's belly flat on the mat. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Yep, got to be very careful there. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Nice transition. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Covington. Another ground and pound strike lands. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 39-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kobe Chaos Covington. A lot of dominant portions throughout that fight for the welterweight contender, Colby Covington, your winner by decision tonight. Long one of the best welterweights in the world. He once again proves why Colby Covington, in his dominating best tonight, earned another decision victory.